Uh, dear friends, welcome back to Data Analytics Talks. This is part five of Database Certified Data Engineer Associate Learning Series. We have been focusing on some of the scenarios that we can expect in our certification exam. So far, we have seen all the areas except data governance. In the data governance, we are going to see some of the scenarios. So, we are not seeing these videos. Uh, I would request you to go through the video uh, in the playlist and uh, that would really help you to prepare yourself for the certification so let me start with the data governance which is uh, just a nine percentage of weightage during this exam the scenario one which of the following data lighthouse feature result in improved data quality over the traditional data lake so we have a traditional data lake and we have modern lighthouse and we need to understand which feature gives improved data quality the tips are editor lighthouse provides storage solutions for structured and unstructured data but uh, this is a common feature but does not do data quality improvement right so this is not the right answer a data lighthouse supports acid compliant transactions so acid is very important what is acid a for atomicity atomicity means the transactions are all or nothing like if one part fails then their part fails consistency is the transactions moves in a consistent fashion the transaction moves the database from one valid state to another preserving all rules and constraints that is a consistency then isolation the transactions operate independently ensuring that concurrent transactions do not interfere each other so it looks like even if we are doing it concurrently, it seems that we are doing sequentially, uh, which is again uh, a property of uh, a good database management. Then we have the durability. The durability, once transaction is committed, it remains permanent, even in case of system failure. So when acid compliant transactions are happening, the database will have better quality and that's what we want and the third option is data lighthouse allows the use of sql queries to examine data that is true but nothing to do with the data quality a data lighthouse stores data in open format that's also true but nothing to do with the data quality a data lighthouse enables machine learning and artificial intelligence workloads that's also true but nothing to do with the, our data quality so, so the answer is uh, the data lighthouse supports asset complaint transactions. A data engineer has left the organization. The data team needs to transfer ownership of the data engineer's delta tables to a new engineer. The data, the new data engineer is the lead engineer on the data team. Assuming the original data engineer no longer has access, which of the following individuals must be the one to transfer ownership of the delta table in the data explorer? So when a new new data engineer joins, right, then old data engineer should hand over the access, but the old data engineer has already left, then who can give the access to the new data engineer? That's our question. So let's look into options. The database account representative. A transfer is not possible. Uh, this is uh, not right. A workspace administrator and a new lead data engineer original data engineer original data engineer also not in scope because he has already left the organization so we have only three options so this option is not correct and the new lead data engineer do not have the uh, permission to transfer it so answer should be like workspace administrator and workspace administrator will have the capability to change ownership of delta table in data explorer manage permissions and access control for unity catalog objects so the answer is for space administrator this is related to data governance uh, okay then coming to another scenario a new data engineer team has been assigned to elt project the new data engineering team will need to full privilege on the database customers we have a database called customers to fully manage the project which of the following commands can be used to grant full permission on the database to new data engineering team so we need a full permission 
we are giving to new data engineering team right we are see the command grand usage on database store is customized to team like we it's not enough to give the usage uh, database access grand all privileges on database team to customize but we team is not a database so this is also not correct grand select privileges on database customer to teams because select is not enough we need all privileges right? grand select create modify usage privilege on database customized to team looks like they are giving all the privileges right but this is not the way how we can give you all privileges grand all privileges on database customized to team so we have all privileges we have the database name customers and we are giving to the team uh, this looks like uh, the right answer grand all privileges on database customized to the team and this command grant full access to the team on the customer database including privileges like select insert update delete create modify and usage is the most appropriate choice when team needs a full managed permission a newly joined team member john smith in the marketing team currently has access read access to sales table but does not have access to update the table which of the following command help you accomplish this so we need a read access we need to update the update access grant update on table table name grant usage on table table name grant modify on table table name grant update to table table name grant modify to table name so basically the answer is grant modify on table table name to john smith then we have another scenario a new user who currently does not have access to the catalog or schema is requesting access to the customer table in sales schema but the customer table contain sensitive information so you have decided to create a view on the table excluding the column that are sensitive and granted access to the view and use this command grant select on view name to the user but when the user tries to query the view gets the error view does not exist what is the issue preventing user to access the view and how to fix it uh, ideally it should be uh, the user should have access to the schema as well right it is not just the view so let's see what commands we have user requires select on the underlying table it's already they have user request to be part of the special group that has access to pii we don't have a, we don't need to be access to pii that is a, again this user does not have access to any uh, any crunch any critical information user has to be owner of the view this is not right uh, to have query the view we don't need to be owner user request usage privilege on the sales schema this is very important actually the, the user should have usage privilege on sales schema that is lacking here user need admin privilege on the view this is also not required so the answer is user requires usage privilege on sales schema how do you access or use tables in the unity catalog the unity catalog has a hierarchy we have a catalog then we have a schema then we have a table so it should be fully qualified name so let's see what are the options schema name table name so we have a schema name table name we also need to catalog right we have schema name catalog name table name uh, basically this is uh, order is not correct uh, the ski should be catalog schema then table right catalog name table name catalog name database name schema name table name this is not required we have catalog name we have schema name we have table name we don't need database because the schema name and table name and database names are same so the right answer is schema names uh, catalog name schema name table name like catalog name schema name and table name remember this uh, this kind of questions then which part of the databricks platform can a data engineer use to revoke permission from a user on the table revoking permission on the table so something called uh, data explorer uh, let's see options data explorer cluster event log workspace admin console then we have dbfs we have there is no way first of all let's uh, remove this option this there is a way and i already mentioned like uh, the answer should be like a uh, data explorer uh, these are uh, not okay how do you upgrade an existing workspace manager table to a unity catalog table 
the unity catalog table follows a structure that is a catalog schema then table we need to register this um, manage table uh, to this format only then you are able to access the option is alter table table name set unity catalog equal to true mm, this is not going to work create table catalog name schema name table name as select from hive meta store old schema old table so basically this was the old format now this is the new format yeah this is the right uh, option then create table name as select star from hive meta store old schema old table this is not the right create table name format equal to unity as select star from table name not correct create or replace table name format equal to unity using deep clone old table this not so not correct so right answer is create table name table catalog name schema name table name as select star from hive meta store old schema old table okay a newly joined data analyst requested read access to tables accessing you assuming you are the owner or admin which section of databricks platform is going to facilitate granting select access to the user okay i think you can guess it admin console user settings data explorer azure databricks control pane azure airbag can expect uh, now you can guess it as a data explorer all the access we are uh, providing through data explorer so in which of the following location can a data engineer change the owner of a table so ownership of a table that's the question where we can change the ownership of a table in dbfs from the properties tab of the tables data files no in data explorer under the permission tab of the tables page no in data explorer from the owners field in the tables page this looks uh, correct in data explorer under the permissions tab of the database page since owners are set at database level this is not right in the data explorer from the owners field in the database page since owners are set at the database level the right answer is uh, the data explorer from the owner field in the tables page so which of the following tool provides data access control access coordinate data lineage and data discovery which of the following tool provides okay delta live table pipeline unity catalog data governance delta lake and lake house the right answer is unity catalog data engineering team is required to share the data with the data science team there is a data sharing both the teams are using different workspaces in the same organization which of the following techniques can be used to simplify sharing data across so we know that we have to share the data across multiple workspaces that is the uh, ask here so what is the option here we have data sharing we have data catalog we have delta lake we have uh, use a single storage location delta live pipelines so here the answer is unity catalog has the data sharing feature so across uh, workspaces so workspace one workspace two workspace three so we can share data between those spaces using unity catalog with that we have come to the close of this uh, part five kindly share your feedback so that we can improve in the next videos thank you